Hello everyone and welcome to another Microsoft 365 video. On today's episode, I want to explain you how you can act your SharePoint pages and how you can add videos as a background section so you can highlight the content on your page. So stay right there and join me on this journey to customize the way SharePoint looks like. Before starting explaining how you can act your SharePoint page and how you can customize it, let me first talk about the new feature that was just announced by Microsoft that will allow you to add images as backgrounds to your sections natively on SharePoint. This will allow you to select an image from a gallery of images that Microsoft provides and later on you will be able to upload your own images and also you will be able to define the overlay opacity so the text on the area is readable against the image. So this is what is coming soon for SharePoint pages. What I will explain today is how you can take this to another level and how you can use a video instead of an image in a section like this one that you see in here. On this page, there are already a few acts applied like the video in this hero section. If you want to do something like this, the instructions are in the link that I have in the description. But what we will be doing is adding a video to this section. So the section was built previously and already has a background color that it's fully supported currently by the SharePoint pages and it has a Quick Links web part applied to it. So this is a dark section. So I applied the darkest color from my theme and the web part immediately applied the white font. So it's readable. So what we need to make sure that we do when we add videos as background sections is that we add a video with enough contrast. So you don't lose the readability of the text when the video is playing in the background. So let's see how we can actually add the video to the section if Microsoft does not allow you to upload videos or even images as background sections right now. So the first thing that we need to do is to edit the page and we need to have the modern script editor web part already installed in the tenant. I also have an article listed in the description of the video that explains exactly how you get this modern script web part from the PNP and how you install it. And I even compiled a version of the web part for you if you don't want to download and compile your own version yourself. And with that installed, what you need to do is to go to the section and you need to find the script editor. Once the modern script editor is added to the page, then you need to edit the markup and edit the HTML code. And in the HTML code, you will have to paste this block of code. The first div here, it's kind of the guideline to tell the script where is the section where I want to apply the background. So then once the div is in the section, this script is executed and I'm getting this exact div in the script. I'm changing the position of parent element of this div and this will get me the full section. And here is the tricky part. This is what Microsoft can change and this is what might break this integration. If Microsoft changes this data attribute, then it will not find the zone and the video will not be applied. But well, the worst thing that can happen with a solution like this is that you have the fallback of seeing the solid color instead of the video. Define what is the URL for the video. Keep in mind that you should use short and small videos so you don't create the huge impact on the loading times of your page. In this particular scenario, I already have the video hosted in SharePoint and then I'm adding the video tag in loop to this zone and I'm injecting it into the HTML. It's not a supported type of customization. It's This is for people out there that wants to explore the possibilities and want to create something fun and something cool for the SharePoint pages and don't mind if the integration stops working from one day to the other. So let's hit the save button 
I have approvals enabled in this site collection, so I will save the page as draft so we don't need to approve it. So this is the video that I used, and I actually got this from Microsoft Edge, is one of the videos that are played in the background. And as you can see, the video is in loop, and I can still read the content in the pages. Uh, in this white zone, sometimes it's kind of hard, but well, it, it kind of works and it creates this cool effect on the page, especially when you compare it with the video at the top. So in this page, you have a lot of motion. You have the video as a page either background. When you start scrolling, you will then see another video applied to a background of the section. And there's one other thing applied here that's a full width section with an image that ends with the same color of the last section on the page, which creates this effect where the mountain seems to be on top of the section, but these are in reality two different sections and this is a SharePoint web part displaying an image, but still a cool effect. So in this page, you have three different types of effects. Two of them are not fully supported by Microsoft. It, they require the use of the script editor web part. Links with the JavaScript code are in the description of the video. And this last one you can use on your SharePoint pages as it is fully supported by Microsoft. And in reality, the only thing you have here, it's a section with color and an image in the full width section that ends with the same color of the section. And well, this is everything that I had to show you today. Keep in mind that this customization is not supported officially and it might stop working if Microsoft make any change to the SharePoint pages. To make sure you don't miss any future update, subscribe to the channel and see you next time. Bye bye.